Hi guys, this is Ryan with Western Maryland Bushcraft, and today I'm going to be shooting a video for you guys on my uh, Nesmic themed ditty bag. Uh, it's a the bag itself is actually a six by eight leather drawstring bag, and uh, now let's get on to some of the contents of the bag. Uh, the first thing that's in the bag is just a little simple tallow candle. It's not it hasn't been burned yet because I haven't really been out at night to use it since I made it but I keep that in there for lighting. Another thing that's in the bag is um, a small round of Pathfinder School Fixin' Wax. You can get this on uh, Pat Dave Canterbury's site at the pathfinderschoolllc.com. It's just, uh, I use that for leather proofing, le leather proofing and uh, it's a very, very multi-purpose item. There, everybody's still thinking of uses for this stuff. keep a lighter in there for uh, safekeeping and for fire and then I also keep in there my uh, repair kit this is a nifty little item that I've got put together it's a little separate kit in itself but uh, we're gonna stick that video in this video um, inside on the top flap there's a uh, two uh, safety pins and inside there's a um, there's actually 10 uh, concrete nails, and these are made of a uh, high carbon steel, so you can actually strike a spark off these. They're very multi-purpose for, um, for anything that you would need a nail for, and you can also hammer them out if you get them hot enough into uh, arrowheads that are very sharp. I've actually killed rabbits with arrowheads made out of these things. And then I keep a little hank of yarn for uh, darning my socks. You actually uh, keep my socks 100% wool. Instead of using other threads, I just use 100% wool yarn. I have a little wooden needle case. Inside the needle, I have several different sizes of sewing needles. Inside the needle case, I have several different, diff several different sizes of sewing needles and some pins for uh, making projects when I'm out in the woods. There's a large uh, darning needle for darning your socks and stuff like that because I use, wear a lot of wool in the winter time. Just have a small thimble for sewing in case you're sewing in thicker materials. Uh, some small pack of matches just in there because I could fit them in there. Then I have a measuring tape. You never know when you're going to need to measure tracks or something. So I always keep a small paper measuring kit tape. It takes up no space and weighs nothing. I have a little cardboard uh, thread holder and the thread that's on there is some heavy duty upholstery thread. Heavy duty upholstery thread is a very good thread to use when you're preparing your gear because it doesn't rip very easily. And I have a small pair of scissors. They're not really needed but because I have scissors on my multi-tool but if I don't have the multi-tool they're good for cutting the thread. I have a large sail needle with a tapered end. I, I prefer these uh, tapered end ones because I think they uh, puncture a little bit easier and they're more versatile. Then uh, inside there's a couple buttons. I'm not going to take all them out because they're kind of hard to get a hold of. I want to keep the video short for you guys. And that, they're just in a uh, heavy, the whole kit is contained inside a heavy canvas uh, little pouch. And on the back of the kit I have a uh, needle that is actually in a uh, U-shape that's very good for uh, sewing leather and if you have to stitch yourself up you definitely want a u-shaped needle because it makes it much easier also inside here I have uh, some heavy uh, wax thread this is like for it came with an easy all and uh, it's used for repairing um, tents but it's a great thread for in the bush and you can make snares out of the stuff I've caught many rabbits on this uh, this thread it's very strong I also keep a uh, Lansky ceramic rod for putting a fine edge and honing your knives and that's just connected with a piece of paracord to a uh, DC4 sharpening stone that's in the pouch by Falkniven it's in the pouch there's uh, some heavy heavy bank line in here just for uh, a little heavier cordage use 
Then I keep some extra batteries for my headlamp. I uh, I like the Energizer Industrial Bat Triple A's. They I, they seem to last a little bit longer. You can generally get those at any ba battery specialty store. Keep a uh, box of long length long burn matches. I like matches just for the uh, nostalgia factor sometimes, and. Um, I like the longer ones because they're easier to get in there and they burn a lot longer. These actually burn for like uh, up to a minute, so they're pretty nice. Then I have my fishing kit. It's actually in a leather flint wallet for a flintlock uh, rifle or any other type of flintlock gun. And where the flints would go, I keep all the hooks in the little pouches, as you can see. There's a lot of hooks in here, and then there's smaller hooks in here, large hooks here, and medium sized hooks here. Inside the uh, main pouch where you would keep your tools it, for your gun, I keep some heavy uh, sinew thread. Sinew that uh, that's actually serves as my fishing line. It's a great stuff. There's also some really large uh, hooks that you can use as the bank line to set uh, to set bank sets, and uh, they're great for catfish. They they dig in deep and they'll hold your catfish very very well. Also uh, in here, there's some uh, little swivels with uh, snap clips on them. And then there's uh, a bunch of lead split shot. I carry lead uh, lead shot as well if I run out of these from, from my gun. And I can just split, the, split that with my knife or my axe and use that for weights as well. And also... There's a uh, just a diamond sharpening rod for fish hooks, and uh, I like to use this as a little coarser one, so I use this for my axe and such. But uh, they're pretty safe. Everybody, a lot of people like these since Dave Canterbury has uh, suggested them on his some of his videos, and I've grown to like them pretty well too. And that's all that's in the bag today, guys. Um, that's the this is the end of the video. Thanks for uh, watching. Please comment and uh, give us a thumbs up if you can. Subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your views and thanks for your support. Have a good day. This has been Ryan with Western Maryland Bushcraft.